How is that possible that the word itself is plural and yet every time it's used, it's talking about it in a singular sense as if it's being done as one entity or one person. So the first word we're going to look at is Elohim. This means God the Creator. It's actually used 2,500 times in the Old Testament. So this is one of the very common words that talk about God and that when you see the word God in the Old Testament, very often this word. And uh, we see it though as a creator, and that's what we really want to focus on. The first one is in Psalms 19 verse one, talking about creation. It says, the heavens declare the glory of God, of Elohim, and the firmament shows his handiwork. So whatever this word Elohim means, uh, the idea that is behind it, it is talking about his creative uh, uh, power, the powers of God. In Genesis chapter one, verse one, it says, in the beginning, God, Elohim, created the heavens and the earth. This first name uh, really talks about, is describing the nature and his works. That basically because of God's creative power of who he is, and all the powers that are associated with creation and, uh, and the sustaining things, uh, that we should be in awe and in wonder of him. So this is a name of, of calling basically a magnificence and amazing and powerful. The grandeur of this word is how wonderfully amazing our God is. Also, what's really interesting about this is that this word Elohim is a plural word. It is always used in a singular sense. If you have a, I run or we run or you run or all those kinds of things, every time it's talking about God with this word Elohim, it says God singularly did something like I run, I pick this up, I put that there. But the word itself is plural. So how does that work? How is that possible that the word itself is plural and yet every time it's used, it's talking about it in a singular sense as if it's being done as one entity or one person. Then he glories the many powers of God. But why from the very beginning of time, the very first verse in the Bible, would God say, I am plural, but singular? Well, if you look into Christianity, that's exactly who God claims to be. This, ver this name claims the Godhead or the Trinity that he is, has multiple personalities, but he is one God, that he is the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, and yet he's God. And so within this name, it talks about the Godhead. And so with this thing, God helps us understand the nature of God and who he is from the very beginning, the very first verse of the Bible, the word God, which seems so innocuous, like, oh, that's just God. Like, no, that is the transcendent, almighty, all-powerful, multi-powered God, who is the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit.